welcome back my friends this is mr robot speaking this is another tutorial showing you a little bit of what is new in bex br in the coding simulator so hopefully you have seen the other videos and today we're gonna see some of the new new maps that are here and we're gonna explain some new functions that we haven't explained before so first of all remember we go to br.bex.com that is right here you can see that uh, uh, the, the link and we're going to start working on this. So let me just show you really quick. We're going to open the playground and in the playground, by defect, it's always the grid map and we're going to see what is new. There are two new maps. One is called the shape tracer and the line detector shape tracer. We're not going to talk a lot about this one. We're just going to go ahead and show the basics. Okay. So as you can see, this is just to make shapes. We already explored that in our first tutorial video, how to make different shapes. But in this one, it's, it's really cool because they already give you like an outline and you have to trace the, uh, that outline. And something cool in this map is that you can choose where to start. So it's really up to you where you're going to start, where you're going to uh, start uh, drawing. So let's do it with the hexagon, for example. Just to review something very simple, if we're going to do an hexagon, we just say that the hexagon has six sides. So we're going to do that forward. That's more or less 300. So we're going to start with 300 forward. And in order to see what is the angle that it has to turn, we say that turning angle is 360 divided by the number of sides, because when you add the angles from outside in shape is 360 degrees. So 360 by six, that gives me 60. And I'm just going to put a trace on it. So move row 10 down. And we're going to play. As you can see, it's very easy, very simple. Oh, OK, I made a mistake here. So if I put turn to rotation, rotation 60 instead of turning 60 degrees to the right. So I have to put here 60 degrees to the right that was my mistake uh, we should be able to do it now and it should work there you go so now that's gonna give me my shape so it's not 300 necessarily uh, it's a little bit less I guess but it's more or less that's the idea so the idea is just to trace those shapes with any color you want well we have black red green and blue so with those colors you should be able to trace them that's it that's the shape tracer now with the line detector, we have something different line detector. The idea is that you can have the robot identify the lines and do something about it. So it also has this option where you can start wherever you want. I'm going to start here in E for example, so we can show you how it will work with the colors, identifying these colors before we do the black, which is a little bit different. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the velocity first. Save drive velocity, turn velocity to 100. So it's fast. Now forever, I'm going to go ahead and tell my robot that is always going to go forward unless it detects a color. So if it detects blue, it's going to turn to the right, for example. And if it detects uh, red, it's going to turn to the left. Okay. We can do that. So I'm going to say, hey, if you detect with the down eye, you detect blue, turn to the right and just do a full circle, 360 degrees. When you finish the circle, advance a little bit. So otherwise it's going to continue uh, detecting the, the line. That's it. So right now I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you how it works. So when it detects blue, it's going to do that. It continues to the next blue line, so on, so on, so on. But when it gets to the wall, it's going to stop. It's going to crash. So we're going to work on that in a moment. Now, if I wanted to detect red or green, let's do it with red. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to duplicate this. But instead of turning to the right, it's going to turn to the left. Now you're going to see that it detects blue and it detects red as well very simple very simple coding 
that's it but when it gets to the wall it's gonna crash right it's gonna try to go through the wall we don't want that to happen so what I'm gonna do is hey you know what if use the front eye is near an object just go ahead and stop it's gonna stop the project okay so it's gonna be able to do that it's detecting only blue and, and red red and red very good excellent if I want to do it with um, with green, I can also make it with green. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. I can do it instead with all three of them and just have them do something just to be sure that it's detecting. You can see it visually. Now, when we're doing with, if I'm if I go to uh, B, for example, you're gonna see that it doesn't work because it's not detected any colors. Right? It's just stopping at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it detect the color. Okay. How? Instead of detecting blue, I'm going to make it detect, for example, the, the uh, brightness. Let's do it in A. What do you mean the brightness? So there is a sense in here that says if the down eye the, or the front eye, the brightness is in percentage something. So I'm gonna put that if it's less than 50, if it's less than 50%, it's gonna um, turn to the right, 360 degrees, okay? So if the brightness is less than 50, it's gonna turn to the right, and then it's gonna advance and then it's gonna stop very quick let's try this when we have only black and so in b and we're going to try it in c and you're going to see that what happens there okay because it's very interesting we experienced it when i was recording one of the other videos okay so if I go to C, look what's gonna happen. You will think it only identifies the black, but no, it's also identifying red. It doesn't identify green, but it identifies blue. Why? Because it's identifying the intensity of the light, of the brightness. So I guess with red and blue, it's less still than 50%. But if, instead of that, I put 5%, for example, you're gonna see it only detects black. See, now it's only detecting black because it, black is darker. So it's gonna get less and less and less light. So that's how we do this part. I can also, of course, just, uh, again, as I was doing before, just uh, do the, um, this one to detect the, oh, Sorry about that. If I can just put that it takes blue, for example, and just turn to the left. So I'm only going to take black and blue. It's only going to take black and blue is going to turn to the left. See, and that's it. So I can do that. I can do combination both. And that's what is, this is good. These blocks are good for. So I hope it was clear. I hope you like it. Uh, all I can tell you that is that I hope it was very clear for you how to use these blocks uh, so you can start applying them. Like always, uh, remember to subscribe. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have, we're gonna try to do more, more tutorials as more information, new information is coming along. Um, that's it. Remember this was Mr. Roboto. Robotica Panamentes Inquietas, Robotics for Curious Minds. Ciao, ciao.